Guys, I'm going to be honest. We didn't do so hot on this one. This was a rough one for people. It was challenging. More challenging than I thought it was. But you have to remember, there's only one rule with these things. You have to follow the challenge guidelines. And the challenge guideline for this was important. Check it out. Let's see if we'll go to it real fast. So, Instagram.com slash, and you can't see this yet, bear with me, be a photographer. Okay. So, Instagram challenge for this one. If we go back to it. Your challenge is to create an abstract image. Lines, colors, shapes, like, be creative. If we can tell what your image is, it is not abstract. That is the key. All right, guys? So, that's the key. Basically, if we can tell what it is, it's not abstract. It's okay if you can say, oh, that's hair, but what is the hair from? That's fine. It's okay if you're like, oh, that's water, but what? I don't know what's going on. That's fine. But if you're like, oh, that is a, I don't know, a dog, that's not really okay. Um, and nobody did anything. That's not, nobody's in trouble. This isn't like a negative. This is just we got to work on this for the future. We'll try it again in the next challenge. Because most of the submissions I couldn't even use, I could tell what they were at first glance. And I'm not like thinking really hard, I'm just talking like first glance, kind of tell what this is. So, let's keep that in mind for the future. Did a pretty good job most of all. Uh, I don't, to be honest, I don't really even know how to critique these. Uh, I guess I should let you know the winner gets bracelets. So I'll send you some lens bracelets. I still got the same one on because it's only an hour later recorded that last one. But... Yeah, the, the, for these, it's just about how the image lays on the page. How is the crop? How does it look? It's almost like an art piece you've created with lines, shapes, and things like that. Uh, that's how I would think of it. Think of it as creating a painting with your camera. And it's hard. Don't get me wrong. It is hard. But you can do it. Uh, some tricks I would use if you try to reshoot this, the depth of field. So get really close to something, maybe spot on with like a really far away things in the background so you can't tell what most of everything is. Uh, textures work. Um, something I have to advise against is called you can't just photograph art. You can photograph art, like let's say a sculpture, if you do it creative, but your picture can't literally be a recreation of another painting or picture. Does that make sense? You have to make something new. So photographing art and things like that doesn't really count, unfortunately. Um, so those are just some guidelines, some things we're all learning together here. It's okay if you messed up on this one. Reshoot it, resubmit, that's fine, just so you can get the 10 done. Uh, but if you ask five people and four of them can tell you what it is at first glance, it doesn't really count. you got to make it more abstract. you got to challenge yourself a little bit more. Cool? All right. Well, anyway, this critique is going to be quick because it's a bunch of images that look kind of like paintings, and it's just going to be me going, I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is either. So here we go. How crazy do the wrinkles on your head look? That is so weird. Ooh, it's like a tidal wave of skin. Okay, ready? So, this first one, found beauty in something I despise, gotta be a lesson somewhere in that. And I'm making a mistake here because this is the winner and I'm showing it to you first. But uh, it's also one of the top photos, which I try my best to not always pick top photos as winners. And I should probably show you what I'm looking at. So here we go. But uh, I try my best to not pick the top one as winners, but this just happened to be one of the best ones and a top photo. So um, yeah, I'm doing it out of order this time, but whatever. So this is a spider web, I think, is what people are guessing, but I didn't know. I couldn't tell after a while. I didn't know if it was something on a wall and the contrast was way turned up. Uh, I just like it. It looks cool. It's abstract. You wouldn't know what it was. Even if you're sure you knew what it is, you still don't know. Um, and it just looks like a painting. It looks like ink. It's cool. I would put this on my wall. I love it. Good job. Good job. Fortress P. Hortez. Horti. I don't know how to say her name, but good job. Okay. Here we have Christy X. Michelle. And no idea what this is. Frog eyes. Tadpoles. Eggs. I don't know. Something rubber. It looks cool. Well done, Christy X. Michelle. I, this is what the reviews are going to be. Um, oh, yeah, I guess I could comment on crop. I would crop it different. I would turn it to the side, and I would almost just like bring it in a little bit because you're getting some vignetting around the edges, and that th these edges right here, I would just bring it in, so it's just that really illuminated inside part. 
All right. So this one is on the verge of kind of not being usable and being usable because I think it's a feather, but maybe not everyone will know that. It might not be a feather and I'm embarrassing myself. That's okay too, but I think it's good. I would almost just crop it in a little bit more and get rid of some of this bottom. I don't know how I'd crop it, but make it even, maybe flip it upside down so it's at a different angle or something. It could be hair. Actually, this works. I can't tell what it is. You did a good job. It's something. Well done. All right, no idea what's going on here. Um, and that's good. <laughs> it's cool. And I like the colors, I like the contrast. It just looks artsy. I would maybe rotate it, but that's my only criticism for it. Good job, Maiku. All right, here we have our Strati photo. And no idea what's going on here. Let's see if I can try to guess. Shadows and highlights, I'm gonna assume, aren't part of it. I think they were just part of the lighting, not actually real, because it changes. I, I think it's spoons laying on something white and we're looking at the cut part of the spoon and the, the stem is in the back, you can kind of see it. But uh, it took me really a while, I actually just figured that out, I could not figure it out beforehand and it looks like it's maybe in the light of a window or something like that. So good shot though, it definitely works for this because I can barely tell what it is. Cool. Um, if you could tell what it is, then it's not abstract. Albanians, be quiet. I know you know. <laughs> so it must be something that, uh, so it is an art piece. It's an installation. So, um, it works, I think, because you photographed it in an interesting way. But I would be apprehensive to make art pieces that are, you need to be adding something different if you're photographing an art piece. It needs to be changing a little bit. So I think this is good though. I like the layout, I like the crop, I like the lighting, I like the black and white choice. You did a good job, Chris Santhema. All right, I know what this is, but that's because I ate a lot of vegetables. Um, I think that you could make this better by zooming in on parts of it. I don't know how you edited this. It looks so weird. Um, maybe I'm wrong, maybe it's not the vegetable. This looks weird. Um, I think it's that ca cauliflower, what's it called? I don't remember what it's called. Um, but yeah, it looks cool. And I don't know if that email just popped up on here. If you guys could hear it, but I got an email and I thought my email was closed. Let's close it right now. But it's a good email. It's the first draft of the Be A Photographer app. So that's gonna be sick. I hope you guys are excited. I haven't told anybody really, so now you know. Okay, but yeah, good shot. Well done. Um, I think crop it in more. That's the only thing. I don't like this weird stuff up here that much, but maybe the top would be its own crop and the bottom. I don't know. This is the alien. You did a good job. Okay, this is Kai Loves Cuddles. And this looks cuddly. What is this? Is this a flipped image? So it's the same on both sides? I can't tell. I think it is. But that's kind of cool. I don't really have any restrictions on editing, so I'm open to it. I think it's, I don't know what it is. It's obviously fabric, but it looks alien-like. I think you did a good job. Uh, what is it? It's actually my sweater. So it does look, look kind of like a sweater, but this is good. You made it abstract, well done. Uh, I would get more black space on the side here so that it's a little bit more just on its own, almost as an object. V chaps, challenge for day three, abstract. This is honestly harder than I thought. And I first expected since I it was a photo and not a painting. Okay, so this might be a painter. Hopefully by seeing this you can't tell what it is. It's a microphone. Took me a while. Very cool. Well, I don't know what it is actually. Oh, it's a weird vase thing that I have in my house. <laughs> this is funny. Thought it was a microphone. Yeah, it's definitely abstract because I have no idea what it is. It looks cool. You photographed it nicely. You have nice depth of field on the side. Brings it up. Nice light. Good crop. Well done. A plus. Oh, these are all the entries. So we got 926 entries. Well done, guys. That's a lot. Okay, so this is obviously some kind of hair, but it's photographed in a way that it looks cool to me. I will get rid of some of this black space on the bottom. Um, um, yep, dog her back. If you look close, you can see her back legs because she was laying down. But you did such a good job with the editing and everything that I think this counts as abstract. It's so weird. Good lighting. Uh, I would crop it in a little closer. But other than that, this is cool. Well done. 
So here we have Michaela Renee photo. Super bummed, but I can't focus as much on this challenge as I like to. I'm going to get as many entries as I can between shoots. So here's my Be a Photographer entry for Be a Photographer the Abstract. This is great. The colors are cool. I love the orange and the greens. They usually clash, but you made it beautiful. I have no idea what it is. Um, thanks for finding time to do the challenges too. It looks like you're a photographer and working. So I appreciate that a lot. Um, this is cool. Well done. All right. And that is all we are doing for the abstract challenge. So, like I said, first person was the winner. I did it out of order. Whoopsies. But everybody did a good job. I think just something to think about is really pay attention to the challenge guidelines. The only rules I give you. And I say be creative, but it's, you still need to meet it. So for two-person portrait, yeah, you could put one person and have one be you know, a photo. For action shot, yeah, you could do a play on words. Um, you know, you can have fun with stuff, but... Abstract is really important. You get the abstract image. So, as a class, we gotta try a little bit harder next time. Maybe I need to do something more on my end to convey the guidelines. But I thought it was just let me know what I can do different. I just want to give you guys a fair chance. So, well done. If you missed this one, I suggest reshooting it. Challenge yourself. Try to do something abstract. Re-upload. Um, otherwise, good shots. We'll get it next time. I'm probably gonna redo this one in the future. Because I like that you guys are struggling with it. Alright, take care. You want a lens bracelet? Well done. Peace.